Zack, I need to talk to you without the others around. Something personal. No problem. It's regarding what you found in Ophir, you know? In Scott's lab, my father's mail. I thought about it, and I figured that we should try to find the kid. Scott's son. Don't you think Scott tried everything to find his son? Besides, he risks reliving something he may not want to experience again. That boy is connected to my father's disappearance, right? That's what that woman said. And look, the mutants have an almost normal life here. Scott didn't know that the city existed before. We could set up something new. What do you think? If we find out what happened to his son, we could not just bring him back here, but also find out what my dad went to do for Scott. I'm almost convinced that he was trying to bring him back his son. All right, I'll look into it. Someone must know where to find the information regarding the new mutants. Thank you, but I don't think Scott should know about all this for now. If something happened to his kid... Anyway, you know? Hello, Phobos. Hello, Sakura. Hello, Phobos. Hello, Sakura. Scott had a son who became a mutant. I'm trying to find him. Did you know by any chance where they could have taken him? A first-generation mutant. He must have suffered a lot, Zachariah. He would have been brutally taken away from his parents and deported very far, in another city or an outside complex. It is the protocol, probably to prevent the young mutant from running away with his family. Completely cut off from his relatives in a foreign environment, they will condition him to obey like an animal. I'm... I'm sorry, Phobos. That's what happened to you, too. Yes. Most of the time, new mutants end their lives where they were conditioned. But in some cases, they get transferred when they are adults. It depends on their workforce needs. It was during one of those transfers that I managed to run away. If your young mutant reached the adult age, it will be very hard to find him. He could be in another center on the run. From what I understand, his son may be my age. It will not be easy, but there is a way to find out at least where he was sent. There are archives in Ophir on all the citizens. You can find who was sent away as well as the location. I do not know if they keep track of the past transfers during the first deportation, but at least that is where you should start looking.
Here's his file. Nathan Seeker, April 115. Advanced symptoms of mutation were found in the child that his parents were hiding. The mutant was immediately transferred to the mine of Eos Chasma. The parents were sterilized during the procedure. Eos Chasma, that's southeast of Ophir. There's an addendum. June 119, the mutant formerly known as Nathan Seeker was transferred upon request AA1532. The details of it are classified top secret. Hmm. AA is the code that the army usually uses. He was then moved as part of a military operation. My father disappeared January 119, before the kid was transferred. So weird. What do you think's behind this story of a top secret file? What the hell does the army have to do with all this? There's gotta be more. I don't know, but we'll no longer learn anything else here. We should leave before we get spotted.